For the Love of Vermont, an exhibit of more than 200 paintings and illustrations from the collection of Vermont Country Store owner Lyman Orton, made by about 65 20th century artists who depicted life in Vermont, had its second opening this month, this time at the Southern Vermont Arts Center in Manchester on Saturday, July 22nd. Part of the exhibit opened at the Bennington Museum on July 1st and included an opening reception on July 15th where Mr. Orton and writer Anita Raphael, who co-authored a book that accompanies the exhibit, discussed the exhibit and the artwork. The exhibit at the Bennington Museum will be on display until November 5th. On Saturday, July 22nd, Lyman Orton, Anita Raphael, and Southern Vermont Arts Center Executive Director Ann Corso took to the stage at the Arkell Pavilion at the Arts Center to discuss the exhibit before a packed house to kick off the opening of the Arts Center's share of the exhibit, which features the work of artists such as Rockwell Kent, John Clymer, Churchill Ettinger, Paul Sample, Mead Schaefer, John Atherton, Marion Hughes, Luigi Lucioni, Kyra Markham, Bernadine Custer, Milton Avery, and others. The exhibit is housed at the Art Center's Yester House, where it will be on display also until November 5th. Following the opening reception at the Arkell Pavilion, the crowd headed over to the Yester House to take it all in. <laughs> A few days before, we had a chance to speak with Ann Corso, the Art Center's executive director, about the exhibit. Well, I think it will be interesting to our local community, but people from further afield who are enchanted with the idea of Vermont and love Vermont, because this exhibition is really sort of a love story with Vermont. Lyman Orton has collected um, artwork that was painted by Vermont artists or painted by artists who visited Vermont over decades. And he has painstakingly uh, collected this exhibition over the years. And it's a, it's a really wonderful testament to this kind of what we call golden era of Vermont painting. It's primarily focused on the 1920s, 30s, 40s, 50s, kind of that golden age of the regional art schools. Um, but there are many artists that sort of span and extend beyond those time periods. And what's really interesting about this collection as a whole is it depicts every aspect of Vermont and its people. Um, not just the glamorous side, but the true working spirit of Vermont. The sugaring, the skiing, the logging, the farming, all of the industries. And really, I think, gives people who are either local or visiting for the first time kind of a snapshot of what it's like to live in Vermont or what it was like to live in Vermont many years ago. To take in all the paintings, and the Vermont experience they illustrate and capture from life in the state from an earlier period, plan to visit both the Bennington Museum and the Southern Vermont Art Center. The exhibits will run until November 5th, and you can also find another segment we did earlier, which features conversations with Lyman Orton, Anita Raphael, Allison Kreitz, the curator of the Southern Vermont Art Center, and Jamie Franklin, the curator at the Bennington Museum, on GNAT TV's website, gnat-tv.org or on one of our channels. For the GNAT TV News Project, I'm Andrew McKeever.